A mother is accused of injecting a lethal dose of salt into her son's feeding tube, causing his death. Was it all for attention? Tonight, the case heads back to court, but the mother is a no-show. A pretrial hearing was held in the Lacey Spears case. Woman dubbed salt mom has been put on suicide watch. Now in shackles for killing her own son, five-year-old Garnett Spears. The defendant didn't show up. And out to Nancy Grace producer Alexis Weed, who was in court today. My first question to you is, why was this murder defendant not in court for her own hearing? Gina, it sounded like the defense expected her to be there. They said, Judge, this defendant has not been produced. Our client has not been produced. She did want to be here in court today. They wanted to make that clear. They definitely put that on the record today, that she expressed her interest in being there in court today. Alexis, start from the beginning and remind us, because this case is really in its infancy now. What are the facts? This mother, Lacey Spears, she's 26 years old, and she is accused of putting salt into the feeding tube of her five-year-old son, Garnett. Now, Garnett was um, having a feeding tube, tube since he was nine months old, and this is a mother who was bringing her child to the hospital almost his entire life. He was being seen by doctors both outside of the hospital, inside of the hospital, but this is a woman who spent quite a bit of time there, and prosecutors now suspect that all along that she has been mixing a salt solution and putting it into the boy's feeding tube, and the reason is, is the prosecutors say that they have evidence that uh, she was dragging him into the bathroom while he was in the hospital during his last days, and they're saying that they think that during that time she was injecting this salt liquid into his feeding tube. Um, but again, they suspect that there was maltreatment all along in this boy's and life. And you know, Alexis, the amazing thing is this little boy is in the hospital for seizures, quote unquote. That's what his mother brought him in for. And one of the EEG machines actually took video to record seizures if and when they happened. And they allegedly show the mother repeatedly taking him to the bathroom to inject the salt in his feeding tube. Here's my question, Alexis. Why isn't this intent to kill murder if she made repeated trips to the hospital room bathroom with him? So in New York, um, a first-degree murder charge is usually brought only when a defendant is charged with, let's say, killing a police officer. In this case, she's still facing life in prison. Her murder charge, that second-degree murder charge, is still a mandatory minimum of 25 years and a maximum of life. 